All right, I'm going to work through a little bit of the features for Logger Pro for you. Um, essentially, it is the graphing program that you're going to use for the entire rest of the year. Um, so a few things that I want to cover. I'm going to cover uh, how to enter data uh, and some of the graph options in this particular video. Okay, so first things first. Um, if you look where my cursor is over here along the X um, uh, column, I'm going to enter in some basic data. So all you have to do to enter in anything in Logger Pro is on the actual column heading, if I double click on it, you get this particular uh, window that pops up, manual column options. So let's say we're doing some sort of uh, experiment where we're measuring distance and time. So on the x-axis I'm going to write time. For a short name, time gets a lowercase t, usually the symbol used in equations, just in case you're wondering. And then the units of time we're going to call seconds. Okay, So this is one thing that a lot of students like to neglect, um, but please take the time to actually enter in the name, the short name, and the units. And then I'm going to hit done. I'm going to do the same thing with the y-axis. Call it distance, short name D, and units will be meters, and we're done. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is that, okay, along these two axes, it's already entered in. Well, for x axis, you put in time. For, for the y axis, you put in distance. Well, let's say you screwed up and it was supposed to be time versus distance. You can always click actually right on the um, variable along each axis and change it. If I wanted to make time versus distance, I can switch the axes readily. Okay, so how you enter it in along the side, not really a big deal. Okay, but I'm going to go back to distance versus time here. Okay, and now if I want to go ahead and enter in actual data, all you do is enter it in as if you were doing any type of Excel file whatsoever. Okay, so we've got time and we've got distance. And you'll notice that as I did this, I got these dots on my screen. These are my data points. Um, one thing that is missing from this particular uh, graph is a title. So we're going to talk about graph options here. If I double click on the graph itself, um, I've got the option to put in a title. Generic title should always be Y versus X. So in this case, it would be distance versus time. Okay, um, just a couple things to point out, uh, no pun intended. We've got point protectors. If I unclick point protectors and hit done, you're going to notice that, wow, those circled dots that were on there are gone, and all we've got left are these tiny little dots. Um, if we want those back, which I do recommend, have point protectors on. That makes those much more visible. The other thing that's going to be oftentimes great for figuring out what type of relationship you have is the connect points. And if I click on that and hit done, you're going to notice that it connects all the points together. Now, one thing that is to be noted, let's say you have one point that's just odd. Okay, the connect points is going to automatically go from dot to dot to dot. Now this is not a very good line, if this was the case. Um, the line of best fit would really lie along where the majority of the points are. Um, so it's not really going to be something that we want you to do to connect the points unless you're just trying to see what the overall relationship is and with more practice that should make sense okay so as of right now here what I've got is I've got a set of data okay that we've entered in we've named it properly okay and then we've also got our graph fully labeled distance time and then a title of distance versus time and we've got some data actually on the graph okay this is just the simple simple stuff that goes along with creating a graph in logger pro